Here's Brody Brazil. The phenomenon which I'm about to discuss in this video is definitely not unique to sports. I mean, events are held every day, worldwide, people show up, and there are attendance figures given. Whether you believe them or not, whether they're accurate or not, all of those are different questions, but it certainly does seem like it happens a lot and every day in the world of sports that we get attendance figures that we just cannot believe with our own eyes. Like we see the crowd either in a broadcast or with photos, or if you were actually there and then you comprehend the number of attendance that's given afterwards and say, wait a second, I'm not an expert at this, but I'm also no dummy. And to be clear, I'll take it even a step further on this. This happens, this attendance discrepancy, let's call it. It happens in all sports of all leagues at all levels across the United States, North America, and beyond. So for those of you who think, well, I'm making this video singling somebody or anybody out, that's not necessarily the case. In fact, I'm here to discuss something that's so widely understood, maybe it's even widely accepted that this happens. It's nothing new that teams will say, yeah, we had 55,000 there, even though it may have been 30-something at best. But it's the technology now that's calling this to attention, right? Because anybody can bust out their phone, take a picture, put it on social media. Even if you weren't there, you can see a number and you can see a photo that clearly reflects what the actual attendance looked like. And I'll get to the different types of attendance in a second. I think we can clarify all this with terminology. If teams want to keep using their paid attendance number, they can do it. Let's just call it tickets sold and not actually attendance. But again, None of this is new. Everybody's doing it, or a lot of teams are, and they have been for a very long time. Why do they do it? That's the million dollar question here. There's probably a bunch of different answers. I would say the general theme is to usually boost. You're never doing it to say that less people came when it was actually more, like unless you're trying to evade the fire marshal or something. So look, it's usually done to boost. And a lot of times it's done to achieve a sellout. Now, I think we can all agree there is something about rounding up, right? If you were 300 shy of a sellout and you always get sellouts and you just didn't get a sellout this day, that's no problem. You can fudge it. No big deal. But if you were 3,000 shy or 13,000 shy and you still called it a sellout, even though you walk in and see empty seats or rows of seats or all of the above... Again, it just doesn't seem right in retrospect. Or a team could obviously be trying to meet a certain threshold, like they don't want to announce below a certain number, or they've got a quota to meet for some arrangement or agreement. Like I said, there's a million different reasons, probably. The realities are all different on a case-to-case -case basis. But the one thing we do know with attendance in pro sports and even college sports, too, we will never actually be privy because these are part of business figures. This is the same way that teams will never open their books to us and understand what they spend, how much they make, where do they make it, where do they spend it. They don't really want this information to be public unless it absolutely had to be. And attendance is part of business, is part of revenue, is part of success. So don't expect anybody to be a thousand percent honest with you a hundred percent of the time. But the definition of attendance, I think we should begin there. Attendance doesn't mean, well, they sold this many tickets because that's not attendance. The word attendance is a noun. And the definition, one of them goes like this. The number of people present at a particular event, function, or meeting. It doesn't mean they intended to go. It doesn't mean they thought about going. It means they actually showed up. People present at a particular event, function, or meeting. Right, So now that we're at least operating on that definition of what attendance actually means, when you hear paid attendance, which we do hear a lot in sports, that should actually probably be called tickets sold. That's much more accurate. And we're still putting a level of trust into teams to tell us how many tickets actually were sold. Only they know it, right? How could the public know this? But at least if you're going to say, well, it looks different than the number we're putting out, well, the number you're putting out might be tickets sold. And that's fine. 
but let's call it tickets sold and not paid attendance because actual attendance is attendance. Paid attendance is more like tickets sold. Anyway, I also understand that a certain discrepancy is always going to exist because not everybody that bought a ticket actually showed up to the game. Sometimes it's bad weather and maybe 20% of the crowd said, you know what, for this baseball or football game outside or the soccer match, I wanted to go. It's just, it's not working today. Or sometimes people buy a ticket they intend to go. And for whatever reason, let's hope it's not a big deal. They just don't make it as they plan to do. So I, I certainly understand there's always going to be a difference between paid and actual attendance. Take it back. Tickets sold and actual attendance. And there's also the thought and the theory that sometimes corporations, they buy large amount of tickets and they usually use them as a giveaway or an incentive or part of a business deal or meeting, and they just don't get used. The company bought them well in advance, maybe part of a season ticket package, or you know what? That's another one I hadn't thought of. A season ticket holder buys the entire year. They tried to unload these tickets for a certain night here or there. They couldn't sell them, so they just had to eat them. That's fine. Paid attendance or tickets sold is a much more accurate way to put it, right? If we're going to go that route, let's call it tickets sold and not paid attendance. There's also luxury boxes. Like I said, a bunch of different ways that people could actually pay for a ticket or a ticket could be bought and nobody actually shows up. Now, that's also a big deal in terms of revenue and how the business side of sports is going, which I'll explain in just a second. So now that we've established that, here's another type of attendance. Let's get rid of even calling it paid attendance, tickets sold. Now there's announced attendance. And this is literally whatever the team announces. And yeah, sometimes it's one person or two people or a small group of people that look at the actual number and then have a different one in mind and they say, we're going to go with that one. Or even before the night has happened, they already know the number they're going to say, despite how many people actually show up. And this number, a lot of times, is taken as fact by fans and by media because they read it somewhere. They saw it printed out or they heard it reported via the media. Because the media just said, well, that's what the team said. Yeah, but look, like, look with your own eyes. That can't be true. And honestly here, I know a lot of times we're talking about maybe several hundred, several thousand. We're getting pretty good at estimating crowds and attendances. Um, and I think that's that's the hard part, too, for for teams now is that they can't really fudge it like they used to because everybody can clearly see and has a much better estimate. But the announced attendance a lot of time, a lot of times is just taken as fact when it probably shouldn't be. And sometimes the announced attendance is inspired by tickets sold, right? It leans more towards that number or it leans towards a desired milestone. Again, sometimes the announced attendance is just how somebody's feeling that day or what they were told to say. But I wish we could get to this, just actual attendance. Like how many ticketed fans actually showed up today or tonight? And I think fans deserve that, just to understand the story of the game. Is this a big deal? Am I making too big a deal out of this that teams aren't necessarily honest on a regular basis? A lot of teams aren't honest on, on a lot of different occasions. I mean, this is generally now in this day and age easy to confirm or question the actual attendance. We know that this stadium seats 37,000, and it looks like they'd be lucky to have 20, and you're saying 29? How could that possibly be? And this is important to know how many fans are actually showing up because a paid ticket is one thing, right? That's a certain amount of revenue for the team as a business, but... Fans spend so much more usually on food and merchandise and parking and everything else they're doing at a sporting event besides just paying to get in. And again, part of the business side is that you'll never know this answer. Teams really don't want to be honest about this if they don't absolutely have to. And this number of actual attendance, like you can lie about this for years. You can upsell your, your attendance for decades, in fact. But it's only going to cost you because multiple good or bad seasons, right, over full seasons, over full decades, this is the actual number that the team is operating on. 
Whether they're saying it or not, this is the number that's either benefiting them or hurting them. So the point here is that it simply multiplies the longer this goes on of announcing a different number than the actual attendance. So look, I just wish there was more transparency, more honesty. I think fans deserve to know. And you could have two numbers, paid attendance versus announced uh, actual attendance. I'm getting it mixed up here. I just think the announced attendance of this is what we're calling it, I just don't know if that's fair to everybody involved in the process. And again, there's a lot of reasons why teams have done this, will continue to do this. I wish I had a solution here in this video. I'm here to say that I'm just calling this out. I'm calling attention to it. I'm not going to change this. It's not going to change anytime soon. Nobody has control besides the teams themselves. But again, I've tried to spell it out. Here's how it could be. You could still do paid, paid tickets. You could still do actual attendance. But this whole announced attendance thing, it's, it's getting hard to believe as the years go on. You made it here to the end of the video. You know I appreciate that. Thumbs up down below. That'll greatly help me and this channel. And if you're new here, just seeing me and all of this for the very first time, that's awesome. I'm glad you found me. But make sure you go down below and hit subscribe so I can definitely see you back here next time.